Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a pour on a 14 by 18 inch canvas. Push pins are on the back to keep it elevated off the table. And I'm going to use golden products only. And they shipped me a box to try them out. And I'm going to use, they shipped me the gloss and the matte pouring medium. I'm going to use matte today just for the heck of it. I don't usually like matte, but I can always put a clear coat on it when I seal it. So I'm using titanium white, Prussian blue hue, teal, diarylide, diarylide yellow, that's a hard one to say, green gold, naphthol red light. And I'm going to use the pouring medium and matte finish. And this is going to be totally different from what I'm used to because this is 10 parts to one part. So I'm going to pour just enough of what I think I need to do this pour. And because I'm not used to using 10 parts to one part, I'm usually using, usually using one to one ratio. This is going to be a little different for me. So I'm making, I'm making more of the white than I am the other colors. So I don't know how many parts this is. I should measure, but I'm not. We'll just see if it, mix it up, mixes up how white it looks. But it looks pretty white there. And it did mention if you use more than one part to ten parts that you might have some cracking. So I do have a bottle of GAC 800, which is supposed to prevent cracking, and I'm going to put just a little squeeze in just to make sure. I'm going to speed through mixing the other colors here. All right, so I'm done mixing. The, the paint pours very steady off the stick and a nice stream. Very, very unique and nice consistency. Different from when you use Floetrol and acrylics. Very different. So I do have more of the white and I've got it mixed here. And I don't know if the ratios are right, but they're supposed to be 10 parts pouring medium to one part paint. So I'm going to put most of my white down. Got me a cake spreader here. Spatula. And I may not have mixed enough white. I'm not sure. Because I have never used the golden paints with the pouring medium. So this is a totally new experience for me sure that I'm trying to get everything coated and not a dry spot on the canvas. I don't have a bunch of paint on here. It's pretty thin. I am going to heat it just a bit to get rid of any bubbles. I'm using a good amount of my paint, but not all of it. And I'll trickle just a little bit of white. I'm going to do this kind of like a Dutch pour, but I don't have nearly the amount of white paint. I got plenty of color, but I don't have a lot of white paint mixed up. So I'm not sure if I have enough 
white paint to pull this off, but I'm going to give it a try. I did not put any silicone in the colors. I have a blow dryer that has a cool setting and it has a attachment that keeps the air flow coming out of a narrow space. So I'm going to put it on low and cool and blow and see what happens. Okay, so I didn't have a lot of white so therefore the paint did not move over the white as easily as it would if I had more white. I do kind of like the coloration of it. It almost reminds me of a flower. So I'm going to try to put a little bit of white around the edges where I might want to blow a little bit more with my mouth, not with the blow dryer. I'm going to make a little bit more white paint because I don't want to skimp on the white. And I'm putting a little GAC 800 in just to make sure. There's hopefully not going to be any cracking when it dries. Just take my stick and move the white paint out a little bit. I don't want to move that there and smear the splashes because they are there and I'm not going to try to clean that up. But I do want to blow. All right, I think I'm done. This is definitely very different from my normal flow troll and acrylic paintings. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I think about it. But, I experimented with golden to see what it was like. You should always kind of try to do something out of your comfort zone to see if you like it. So if you enjoyed it, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check on the links that says show more below the video or your down arrow on your mobile device. And you can find all the links below to my Amazon recommendations, PayPal, Patreon, my Facebook group page, 
Lots of different lengths for different products. The sky's the limit there. So come join me, come find me, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.